You see that? So this is a cool little party trick in case you ever wanted to impress your friends or if you have no friends, maybe just do this at home in front of a mirror. Um, yeah, just because. Anyway, so this is how to roll a burrito with one hand. So if you can practice this at home pretty much. It's pretty DIY if you, if you know what I mean. So just go to Chipotle and get two sides of rice. Just two sides of rice is all it is. So essentially, um, you're going to need to load your tortillas up with something so you can at least practice it. So. Just two sides of rice, less than $3 for both of these. Get as many uh, burritos as you can to uh, try out because you never know when, uh, you know, one just comes up terrible. So get like two or three burritos, uh, burrito wraps, tortilla wraps, um, just to try out to make sure that you have enough materials to start the process of learning how to do this. As far as that goes, uh, tin foil is never a bad thing to have in the house since you're going to be, you might be overly too aggressive and or ripping too many burritos as you're trying to do this. No bueno, you don't want to do that. So get to one as a backup, one as your primary. To start off, we're gonna need the wrap, the tinfoil and the wrap. And as far as how much rice to put on, I would put everything in the middle so you don't have to struggle with it. And then roughly put about the size of your fist or even just a little bit bigger on there. Uh, and the rice will kind of substitute as your food. Step number one, now normally, I, would, uh, I wouldn't have to use my other hand, uh, but this table is very slippery and it's not made for food at all. <laughs> so, um, actually, I'll take a step back. Step one, wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands. I'll make a separate video for that to show you guys how to wash your hands because that's pretty important, especially in 2020, this moment in time that we're living in right now. Pretty important that you learn how to do that. Anyway, with that being said, I'm only gonna use my, for my left hand, uh, just the pointer finger, just to hold the tortilla down, or the, the tin foil down, so it's not bobbing up and down. Normally I would just use one hand, but then the burrito would go off on the floor, it would just create a mess, and uh, we don't want any ants in our studio space down here. Anyway, back to that. Step one, just hold the tortilla, the tin foil, down with the pointer finger. Step two, make sure all the food's in the middle, all in the middle. If you have it to the sides, kind of spread out like in a thin line, you're gonna have a mess. You're not gonna be able to fold the burrito as well as you could. So make sure, kind of play around with it a little bit, make sure everything's kind of in the middle, kind of do like a little little side, like yeah, I like it this way, maybe this way, put everything in the middle, right? Step three, do a little pinch method with your index finger and thumb. You're gonna hold the tortilla at the base, basically at the bottom of it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this over the food. Make sure you cover all the food. So you see how it's only like covering the food from there. We're gonna use this hand and pinch everything down into what I call the pocket of the burrito. The pocket of the burrito is that bottom portion of the burrito there. So we're gonna grab it like this. And from this, we're going to roll the burrito halfway with using your hand. I just use these two, my pointer and uh, my thumb. And I'm gonna roll it to about the burrito being parallel to, I guess, the table, I guess, parallel to whatever you can, but make it straight, essentially. Now, you're gonna hold that down with your thumb, repeat the process with these other fingers, and I'm gonna push it all this way, and make that parallel. So pretty straightforward, right? So after this, it's my favorite part. If you've ever been in a fire grill, or ever been in a real fire, you're gonna know this one. It's pretty straightforward. We're gonna do a tuck and roll method. So I'm gonna use these fingers to push the burrito down, and now I'm gonna roll the burrito with, um, with my fingers. And we're just gonna do a little tuck and roll. Now here's the key. You know you have a good burrito wrap. If, when you lift the burrito, no food comes out, there's no tears on it, you know? If I shook it like this, no food's gonna come out, nothing, right? So we're good. If you have a burrito like this, you're good. If you don't have one like this, start over. Moving on from that, the next step was gonna be putting the burrito in the corner, tearing the tinfoil with your hand like this, Put it in the corner of the rep, and now repeat the process. We're gonna tuck and roll, put a little bit of pressure. Be gentle with it, like it's your first girlfriend, you know, like the first girlfriend you've ever had. You wanna make sure that you're treating her kindly. You, want, you don't wanna be too aggressive with it or else you'll call the cops and then, you know, go to jail. So just be a little, little tender with it. Tuck and roll, as we all learn from schools. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pinch with this, we're gonna pinch this up, make it parallel, pinch this up, Make it parallel, and here's my, my favorite part. Tuck and roll. 
Tuck and roll. And with that, you can just slam it there on the table. Maybe draw a little smiley face on there. And there you go, you've learned how to roll a burrito with one hand. I'm gonna do it again. Um, I'm gonna have uh, Evan here, my, uh, my other associate, uh, try to repeat the process and the steps and have him also take the challenge. But before that, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I'm gonna do it all in real time. And then also step it up by adding more rice, as much rice as possible, and roll, try to roll it with one hand as well. Stay tuned for that. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna try to do this just real time, like as if we're in line, ordering food, and some guy's waiting for his burger to be rolled. All right, roll the foods in the center, let's go. Still good. Still did. It. Got it. I did that for you guys. So, uh, yeah. We're going to step it up now. We're going to do one more. One more big one. The big one is coming up. Yep. Right. So now, I'm going to do the impossible. I know what I just did there looked impossible, but if I can do it, some guy that doesn't even have a PhD or a bachelor's degree, he can do it. Pretty straightforward. Um, so now we're going to add more rice. Uh, we're going to add all the rice that we have. Yeah, let's see if uh, we got what it takes to do this, man. Whoa! Look at that. Look at all that food that I'm disgustingly touching with my hands. Uh, did I mention to wash your hands? Make sure you wash your hands uh, when you're touching someone's food. Or wear gloves. Just wear gloves, actually. Wear gloves any, anywhere you go. Um, all right. One hand. I can do it with two for sure. And this is like a pretty easy one. This is what an old customer used to get uh, when I used to work at this restaurant. Anyway, one hand burrito. So first things first, before I even before I even mess with this thing, before I even see the behemoth that it is. Alright. Here we go. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah, no. It's possible. It's I've never done this before, by the way. Not with this size of a burrito. This is like out of control. Yeah, I definitely can't do it with one hand. I already messed it up. I can do it with two, though, just to kind of show you guys how to do this. It's easier to get all the food roughly in the middle or towards yourself, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it with two hands here. Anyway, I'm going to do this, a little bit of this. Push everything in the middle. And now here's the key part. Roll it to the side. With this one, you can kind of treat the burrito as your second girlfriend. Really be aggressive with her. Make sure, you know, she knows she can get whatever she wants on the menu, but as long as she gives you a kiss afterwards, then you're golden. Anyway, boom. No wrap, no tears. You do this. Do the same thing. Um, I'm going to push this forward a little bit. And now it's ready for consumption. Draw a couple lines on there and then you're good to go. I spilled a little bit of rice, but that's the casualty whenever you're rolling something as massive as that. I used to roll those every single day when I was working at this restaurant. <laughs> Look at that. And the here. That's a newborn baby, pretty much. So, okay. what's going on, everybody? It's my name, Evan. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh... Yeah, so I'm, I'm here making burritos. Um, hands are washed, cleanly. I now have to. Is it, is this the uh, one-handed burrito roll? One-handed burrito roll. I want to make sure my yeah. Remember all your stuff. My, my tin foil. Rewatch the video. Make sure you get. Oh it. yeah, just I'll I'll scroll back to minute thirty-seven seconds, and that should be perfect. All right, so the uh, one one index finger placement for my for my ease. We're gonna. We're gonna tuck the sides, make sure our, our centered rice, you know? Gotta make sure that's happening. All right, if I remember from watching that one video that I already made, uh, we, gotta, we gotta make sure we get that, that rice covered completely. Put it, put it in that one pocket, you know? Put it in that, in that back part of the burrito. Now, that's all about rolling, rolling to the side. Mmm, oh yeah. Tuck it, tuck it with the thumb, roll it in. Ooh, solid choice.
show his solid choice. Now we gotta grab everything and make sure we can roll it properly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, a little bit of stinky, but maybe not too shabby. I don't know, I don't know. Seems, seems fine, I can shake it about. There's no ice coming up. Now we're placing it in the corner. And uh, now it's, now we're tucking it here. Let's see if we can grab, grab this over here. And uh, grab this over here. The Kerblam! <laughs> oh no! That was not that. I'm not even kidding. That was actually pretty good. Normally we don't make squares as burritos, but in terms of that, that was your first time ever rolling a burrito, correct? Yeah, I've never rolled a burrito in my ever life. in your life. No. How did that feel? Well, pretty uh, empowering. Yeah. Yeah. And you're currently going to college? I'm. I'm currently now taking uh, college at. Uh, Arturo's Art Institute, where I learned how to roll burritos professionally. After five years and $60,000, I will become a professional at this. I just gotta, I gotta actually take the class. You know, I, I watched a five minute video on how to roll a burrito, but to be honest, I didn't cut it. But Seriously, soon, this soon. is worth it. This is good. You make, try to make it stand. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> I learned to be in that. Yeah. Thank you everybody for watching How to Roll a Burrito with One Hand. And uh, yeah, it's, um, that was good. That was a lot of fun. And next video, I'm going to show you guys how to wash your hands properly because that's something that applies to everybody. We need clean 20. hands. Yeah, I mean, if you I don't have clean hands, then what is burrito? What is life? What is life? What do you even live anymore? And uh, what do you even do? How do you make life decisions without knowing how to roll a burrito when you have clean hands. Quanto san your son? It's a good question. Anyway, we'll uh, see you guys uh, next week or next time and uh, adios. I need burritos. I need burritos. What the f***?